Welcome and hello there. It's Man in the Shed, Andy P. Here I am, I'm back. So this is a pre-video to my next video. <clears throat> Why you did a pre-video, Andy? Because the next video is going to be a long one. It's going to be a very long one. It's going to be very informative. It's got a few health and safety at work risks involved in it. So I want to quickly go through the advantage we have now we live in our so-called health and safety gone crazy world. There's a reason for that. And the next video will sort of point out that, but we're, we're not going to talk too much about it, but I just need people to understand, you know, it is going to be a very long video. If you do get time over the weekend or the next few days, we're in lockdown, give it a go. But I thought I'll make a smaller, easy to follow video, which doesn't take too long of this idiot waffling on. So you think it works, you know, personally, I work as a chef and we have on our oven doors, warning, opening this door could, could be hot. Well, who bloody knew, eh? Who knew that opening an oven door could be hot? That's the sort of micro health and safety crap that sort of annoys us nowadays. But is it better to have that than virtually no health and safety? Because my next video is my long anticipated Le Mans 1955. I know you've all been excited about this one. I mentioned it on my, in my beginning when I was like, right, this is what we're gonna do. One of the things was Le Mans 50, 55. There's a reason for that. This is where health and safety didn't go insane. It was anything but insane. Now, a little bit of the background. I'm not gonna go into it because obviously I'm gonna go into it in the video. In Le Mans 1955, the cars had one rule. Okay, this is literally the construction part of it. You had to use the same fuel. There you go. That's the wall. <clears throat> so imagine me turning up in my Vauxhall Zafira. Yeah, that's what I got. And I'm going up against, I don't know. Rocky, you've got your BMW. It's a bit of a pig, but you've got one. And then Chris, obviously, being a socialist, he's got a Morris, Morris Minor. And Neil, being a chav. He's probably got a, I don't know, not a chav's drive. Could be anything, really. Probably got a Vauxhall Nova or something. Not the most out there cars, you know. They're not the most high power. Then we buddy up with some footballers. And they've got their Bentleys and their Astons and their Ferraris. To be fair, I do live in Southampton, so they've probably got some Morris Miners as well not possibly the most wealthy premier league footballers but they still got money so you know they're going to have faster cars and we have a race it's not like formula one where the basic car is roughly the same although you put lewis hamilton in one he's probably going to win but <clears throat> the only rule we have to have here is we all have unleaded because my car's unleaded that's basically on my car yeah so it's going to be unleaded but whatever engine, whatever brakes. The problem with this is, I ain't, I'm not winning. Probably going to beat Chris in his Morris Minor. Okay, I know Chris possibly doesn't have a Morris Minor, but, you know, for joke content here, we're going to add uh, him in. We're also going to bring Bill in from Australia. Hiya, Bill. In your, in your ute, because that's what all Australians drive. Oh, and they've all got the hat with the... Um, corks hanging from because every Australian has that and you've obviously got a beard and you you say good day and you call everyone a flaming galah because that's what Australians do. I'll say you know it's gonna be a long video today so got me seagull cup and my coffee. Coffee now how are you all about my cup of tea? Nice breakfast as well. Cooked it myself so so, because obviously we are doing a bit of health and safety, and I hope our health and safety officer, Chris, you know, you're happy with this. 
My fire exit is over here. It, it's the door. My bin isn't on fire at the moment because I've not caught it on fire. I do have my fridge and my toaster. Obviously not using them at the moment. And of course, most importantly, I've got me gym bar. Yes, it's managed to stay up, so that's good. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to put this one out so you've got a rough idea of what the main video is going to be. It is me sort of saying, do watch it. It is going to be long. It is going to be insanely long, but please watch it because it's going to be informative and we're going to see how many of our health and safety tips could have worked in the modern from the modern world to this this just say this event changed motorsport not Le Mans not just Le Mans it changed motorsport and there's a few reasons anyway I hope to uh, hope to catch up with the with the views on my Le Mans 55 it is going to be awesome it's going to be epic it's going to be massive so you are going to give yourself an hour or so just to go through this but do enjoy it i got some rambling nonsense in there as always because it wouldn't be one of my videos there are actually some facts off of the internet so it's not all made up bs like i normally do so do enjoy it see ya pals